up y'all Nyla Jade is officially one week today she just finished eating so she better knock out soon it's been a fucking week <laughs> this girl is crazy her cries are so strong she makes the funniest faces her poops are wild her snores are so cute and she's perfect she's so perfect you guys and it's pretty crazy I'm still processing how I have a daughter. Even after carrying her for eight months, it's pretty crazy. But daddy went to go pick up some treats from Nana's house. I think she got us like these pineapple buns from um, San Bruno Ave and some baked pork buns. And some fruit so thank you Nana for all the fruits and me and MJ are just chilling here till daddy gets back and I thought I'd share with you my experience at Kaiser for having this cute little baby girl so from our last vlog uh, just a quick recap we went into labor and delivery with the plan of having an ECV and an ECV is basically um, when they turn baby around so baby's head is down in the cervix. Um, they did an ultrasound and they said that her fluid inside was low so that could add to complications of her not turning or if they are able to turn her that um, some complications like her her heart rate might drop and you know other stuff too so at that point me and Drew just want her to be safe and healthy and if there was anything wrong with her that they could assess it you know when she's outside because all of her tests were were checking out from the inside when she was still inside so we went ahead with the scheduled c-section and from there it was just pretty crazy so drew went to their car room first to put on his suit and then i went straight to the operating room and when you walk in my god it's like a scene from fucking gray's anatomy like everybody's just in their spot um so i walk in and i sit on the bed where they're gonna um, do the c-section and the anesthesia um, guy was getting his stuff ready and I was just sitting there and it was cold I already had the shakes and I was just looking around and I saw all the fucking tools and I started freaking out oh my god just thinking about it it was so scary and um, luckily the nurse there fuck I forgot her name but she was so sweet she was holding my hand she said squeeze my arm if you need to like don't fight the shakes like i'm here i'm here for you drew is just in the other room we're gonna call him as soon as you're numb so they give me the spinal and my god that shit is wild so he he gave me the shot in my back and i felt it on my right side first and then for those who've had a c-section before you just feel the the warmth to go through your legs so then they she guided my legs up on the um, bed and I was just laying there just kept getting more numb and numb and the anesthesia guy was testing out like areas of my stomach to make sure I was really numb and honestly the spinal wasn't that bad but there's a story later that I'm comparing it to um, yeah it wasn't that bad I think where I was struggling with the most was feeling everybody's 
like everybody touching me and not like telling myself that I'm not going to feel the pain. So they told me I'm going to feel all the pressure, just no pain. And at that time, I'm just like, the fuck does that mean? Right. But it's exactly what it means. Like you feel everything like every like touch every movement you feel it you just don't feel the pain of the doctors inside of you which is pretty crazy so I just basically feel like I'm like moving around like this a little bit because you know they're they're moving my stomach around but just no pain and it was really really scary it was hard for me to kind of um connect the two but at that point I was already numb, arms were to my side, and Drew was there finally. So the shakes like calmed down a little bit when he came in the room, but those shakes are wild, like you can't control them. But anyways, apart from like the C-section, everybody was so nice in that room. They were so supportive. Every time I looked around and like, looked a little bit nervous they came up to me and said you're doing great they they told me exactly what was going on as they were happening um yeah like, like everybody in that room thank you so much for making that scary experience a good one for me um we were able to play music on our phone so she came out to this i promise you by nsync And I just remember Drew saying, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful, she's so beautiful. And then the doctor's like, you want to see baby? I'm just like, yes. And then the, the tarp was so high, I was like, I can't see her. And then they lowered it and she was crying. And oh my God, it was, oh my God. Yeah, it was, it was a lot, it was emotional. And then they weighed her and everything like that. They measured her and then they put her on my chest and oh my God, just like the rush of emotions. And she was so tiny, oh my God. And then I don't really remember if I like breastfed right away I think it was just skin to skin from what I remember and then I breastfed in the recovery room but yeah they they did more tests on her after we did some skin to skin and they were closing me up and then I told Drew like wherever she goes like we didn't know what to expect so I was like wherever she goes you go I'll be fine I'll be in the recovery room like don't worry about me I have like people here and then yeah Drew went with her to the recovery room and then I think they're just finishing me up and then they moved me to another bed and then they rolled me to the recovery room and it felt like it was 15 minutes it felt so fast which is probably a good thing and then yeah we were in the recovery room I was able to do more skin to skin daddy did some skin to skin I think that's where he first like vlogged after like his little bunny suit video. You'll probably see it later. And yeah, I had like crackers and stuff. Oh my God, you guys. So I wasn't allowed to eat after 12 a.m. that morning, Sunday morning. And they all they gave me in the pre-op kit was like a watered down 7-Up. I was so hungry like the moment we got admitted in like just the whole morning up until my c-section I was so freaking hungry and that's all I could say in the vlog so me and Drew just reviewed some of the footage and all I was saying is I'm hungry I can't wait to eat I can't wait to eat sushi and yeah I was just one hungry bitch like that's all I could think about. And all the nurses were like, that's good. That's good. Like, you even want to eat food. Some people get nauseous. Some people don't. Whatever. And I'm like, nah. Give me my sushi now. <laughs> but 
they gave me crackers and it was the best crackers ever. They gave me juice. Oh my god, I was like gold. And then we waited a little bit for the nurses. They did more tests. They did more tests on her. And we went to like our main, main room. And everybody was nice there too. I was able to get a turkey sandwich, which is good. Drew got like a pull-out couch, you'll see it from the vlogs. And it was a really good experience. Like I was scared, but I, you know that's normal. But it was such a good experience. Like Kaiser Redwood City, if you guys are trying to look for a place, it's, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Everybody there was so supportive. I like to know everything that's going on at every second and that's exactly what they did it was just a really really good experience food was really good I had salmon I had salad soup desserts the whole thing all two days there ordered a little bit for Drew too they're just really really nice I think the snack basket helped <laughs> good job on the snack basket But, yeah, it was, a, it was a really good, really good um, C-section experience and hospital experience, too. Um, update on my incision. I can take off my bandages today, but I'm fucking scared. Like, just reflecting back on, like, how I couldn't even get up at the hospital. I mean, mind you, I had a catheter, but when they took that out, I was kind of dreading to get up and use the bathroom because it was so painful. I mean, it wasn't super painful, but you could feel like the stings because the, the cut was so fresh. But yeah, I could, I could take it off apparently today. It's my seventh day. But I think I'm going to keep it on maybe until like the tenth day until I feel more comfortable. I think Drew is going to have to take it off too, so we'll see. And... It's not stitches or staples, it's glue. Like, they glued my ass together. Which is crazy. Kind of excited to see it. What it looks like. But, I think that was pretty wild. Like, I was expecting, like, stitches, follow-ups appointment. But nah, they're just like, come back six weeks. And I'm not even going to come to the hospital in six weeks. It's just a video appointment. So, it's it's pretty crazy how... It just seems just like that. It's just a, a cut, blew it all up, and that's it. I still can't believe this little little baby was inside of me. Let me try it. Shit, what I do? The um the footage of me still being boots. We didn't get to do the baby mama dance, but it's okay. Um, baby update. When we got home. The first night, I think for me, was the toughest. Because when we were in the hospital, Drew was doing everything. Like, diaper changes, swaddles, getting me everything, waking up, the cluster feeding. Holy shit. Like, that man did everything. Didn't complain not once. Heard a little grunt once, but, I mean, it's to be expected. He's sleep-deprived. He's tired, too. He's getting everything from me and baby, and it's, it's wild. It was wild. So, back home, you know, NJ didn't feel my touch as much. Like, she, I didn't, like, change her diaper at all. I didn't know how to swaddle. So that first night when I tried to let, or when it was my shift, she just kept wanting daddy and he kept waking up and getting her and she would just stop crying instantly in his arms and I was just like, oh, you know, be a little daddy girl. You look just like daddy too. Oh yeah, by the way, she looks nothing like me. Um, we've assessed that she has my cheeks and my feet. I'll take it. But everything else is Drew. And I knew it from the beginning. 
Like I knew it. She's so cute. So yeah, that first night. And then it really did start to get easier. Still hard, but easier. I think me and Drew the past two nights have been getting like maybe three hours of full sleep and we'll sleep with her like after a good feeding. Oh, I think he's going up the stairs. Just perfect timing, we can ask him too. Yeah? Hi, I'm vlogging. Are you vlogging? Yeah. What's that? Got the tummy roller. Oh, nice. And my license. Nice. You checked the mail here? Yeah. It was only uh, my license and your mom's moving day. Oh, okay. I was just sharing my hospital experience and just a quick recap of kind of the week. Mm. Yeah. It was perfect timing because I was at the part where um, it was our first night and all she wanted was to be held by you because she didn't really know like me changing her diaper and me swaddling her. Yeah. But she is a daddy's girl. She got everything from you except her cheeks and her feet apparently. <laughs> Everything else is a spitting image of daddy, huh? Yes, as grandma says, Xerox copy of Xerox you. Xerox copy. <laughs> so yeah, the feedings have been getting better. I feel like I've found kind of like my flow with things. I updated my cart to like the shit I actually really need and stuff that I don't need. And I think it's getting easier. I think, I mean, I hope it's getting easier for you too, to oh, sleep sure. and feed. Absolutely. Leaving a bottle for him too, like before I sleep, helps me a lot, so he doesn't have to wake me up. And it puts this little one to sleep. So it's been really good so far for first week. I see Richard. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Hey, let me see. Daddy look good in his new driver's license. Ooh, okay. You look like a father. I look like daddy. You look like daddy. Oh, you have um, a rash or something. Mm -hmm. I like it. Uh, I kind of lied on my what? weight. What'd you put? 190. How much do you weigh? Not 190. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a follow-up appointment. With Tracy to check her jaundice again because she's still a little yellow and her weight hopefully her weight went up because she's been eating way 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 more and yeah we'll see we'll see how tomorrow goes but she is a week old today and it's pretty crazy congratulations Congratulations, bro. We made it in for one week. In one week. We got forever to go. Her poops have been many, bro. <laughs> like, them things been OD sometimes, but. And she don't even eat that much. Imagine when she's eating real food. That's it. We're going to learn how to. We're going to teach her how to wipe her own butt butt. You tell them about the P accident? I did not. But it's just so funny how you pee peed on her bed. Mm. Mm. God. Can't get enough of her, you guys. But yeah, we'll update you guys tomorrow. And for sure, this little girl gained weight. She looks different already. Yeah, she looks more plump. I think one thing they're going to talk to us about is her jaundice. Probably something more we could do. Because mm -hmm. she does look a little more yellow today, in my opinion. More yellow? I think she looks a little bit more yellow. Fuck. Oh, maybe you should do one more. So I'm like, yeah. 15 in mom's room. I'm done. Or leave it downstairs. Yeah, yeah downstairs, downstairs yeah. yeah. Well, she loves the Mamaru, too. It's crazy how Jack was on it, and then Olivia was on it, and now 
Nyla Mama's on it. I wonder who's next. You and us. Peace. Mm.